ever really oftenly showered. There was a reason I was also main another reason I probably was picked on is because I was never I was I never really took care of myself. It's gross, I know, but it's just who I was as a person. I can't help that. I've always been this way, and that's probably a major reason why I was picked on and alienated by girls around me. But it's not like I was the worst person in the world, I just smelled. Wow, I'm surprised I even mentioned that. Everyone's probably going to look at me and watch these streams and hear that and be like, I don't want to deal with this streamer, he's disgusting. No, trust me, I've changed a lot since then. I don't shower and bathe and take care of my teeth as much as some people, because my teeth are severely rotting from the lack of brushing as much as I should be. But I do brush and shower a lot more than I did ever. I'm an adult, I grew up, but it's just, it's a bad habit that I've developed over the years. It's just, if I don't like something, I'm not going to do it. Says the guy who beat through Final Fantasy 2. Sorry to go into that disgusting tangent. Man, Infamy, you're getting quite close to me. <laughs> you're learning all sorts of things. You're, you're learning that I am a disgusting human being. Point of all the basics that I've learned from later Final Fantasies. I swear, some of these spells, I don't even know if half of them are broken. Mute on you would be so nice. It's like with my teeth brushing my throat. Yeah, I don't feel bad. I've never been good with brushing my teeth. I just hate it. I personally just hate it. Like, I can't... It sounds weird, but I, I, I just hate doing it. I hate repetition. And I work at a warehouse where all I do is walk back and forth. But I, it's a job. I'm not going to be like, I hate repetition. I'm, I'm done working here. <laughs> I need the money. And I worked at Chick-fil-A, which is all I do is make fries. But, like, unfortunately with jobs, and me streaming, me playing games, these games are all repetition. I'm battling the same shit over and over again. But that's different repetition. That's enjoyable repetition. Being able to have them to freaking wake up every day, da, 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 da. I know it sounds dumb and disgusting, but it's honestly, it's, it's who I am. I never like repetition. Certain repetition, I should say. Same thing with the worst thing for repetition to me is repetitive sounds. Now, that may make people do it more, but repetitive sounds is the worst to me because it gives me the headache. Whenever people do some sort of sound and they just keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it, and it's just like, please stop. Like, like the forklift honking. I know you're supposed to honk like a car horn or whenever you're exiting like an alleyway or a turn. But having to hear the for a few seconds before they stop letting, before they let go of the horn is really annoying. I would have prefer if they just did a, but no, they go, and it's just like, oh God, stop. And you hear it so often throughout the day that it's just like, stop with the, just do, please. All you have to do is just honk once. That's all I ask. And half the time it's in my face. Ugh. understand what the point of jump was like it's it did a lot of decent damage but why such a spike in in, in difficulty though like ugh, there that's your main gimmick is to jump dragoon why is it that you do more damage with your weapon Shouldn't you do more damage with your ability, which also should use your weapon, wouldn't you think? I don't, I guess I don't understand old school art, uh, Dragoons. The only Dragoons I really remember using is Sid, 
from from not from from seven and uh what's her face from nine the Burmacian rat those are the only two dragoons that I've ever used this is the first time dealing with the original dragoon I mean I don't often really use Sid doesn't really have kind of a jump command but uh, the girl from nine does she has a jump command but I rarely ever use it I use her other dragoon abilities which are far better I'm not, I'm not, like, the greatest on strategy, either. I really don't even use strategy. I just attack, 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 attack. I'm a physical attacker. I'm a, up close in your face and want to stab you. Mainly. Dark Souls have always been a strength build. No matter what, I've always, I'm always start off a heavy, I'm always going to be a str heavy strength user with great swords. But at the end of the day, I'm a quality build just so I can get overall strength stats, because dex and strength are still scaling with different weapons, but they're both strength stats, and they both also affect during certain actions. Like with Bloodborne, leveling deck, uh, leveling skill will affect your visceral attacks. That is still physical damage. While I may not use skill or dex-based weaponry, without leveling that, your damage is still suffering. So the more you level that evenly, your scaling for strength weapons will still increase. So that's why I will always be a quality build, but I will always be pure physical strength. And I will always be a heavy wielder, mostly. So I love heavy builds. I will always use heavy greatswords most of the time. If I can find... if I can get one good or whatever. Such as like a claymore or the Zweihander, or I'll use a greatsword, or... Never, I'll never use a great club, I'll never use a great axe, I don't care for that. The animation on those are bad anyway. That's some damage! That's also some damage. Fuck you. That's some damage. Thanks for taking out chat. No, 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 no! Damn you! Cunt! Should have had my other guy do it, but I didn't know if she was gonna go first or if my main guy was gonna go first. God damn it. Fights. It is another one of these type of boss fights. But th don't make no, don't make a boss fight that you literally have to change up your entire play style. Also, don't make a boss fight that all he does is magic that is so overpowered. Don't, but also part of the main story. RPGs that are forcing a player to grind is not a good design. Like, I love grinding, but having to force me to either change classes and or grind 
and or limit me with gear that I cannot wield or limit me with shops that aren't even open is the dumbest decisions. Make it... you Companies, man, you have to make some games tough, but you also have to make it fair. You can't just sit there and literally spike the game so high out of the point where this guy is literally one-shotting my entire team or clear near near one-shotting my entire team to the where to the point where I can't even predict the RNG of who my which one of my characters is going to go first so I'm literally using up all my items just to heal one character who is literally the only one that can ever freaking harm him this is not inner this is not good game design this game is amazing but I hate it when they do this with games I hate when my bowl clogs after random hits and then like I lay it down for a good while and then it just sits there and clogs them. Like why I don't like them. Why can't it just why does it have to clog so fucking often? Even with a screen in it, it was not actually helping. The screen didn't do shit. I don't know how the tobacco like some of the tobacco can fall through. I get some of the resin will fall through somehow, instead of congeal on it. But that that the the freaking pipe cleaner wasn't even bit isn't is too big for the bowl. I can't even barely even get it into the whole thing, and then it still freaking clogs. The bowl itself. The pipe is still able to clog. The bowl itself was clogging, too, still. But even then, the bowl should- the, the pipe part should not be clogged as much, even with, with a screen in it. But yet, it was- it, it was worse. It wasn't clogging bad, but it was- as bad, but it was- to the point where- Having to unclog it by taking the screen out every time was worse. And I bought two bags of them. It was cheap. It was like it was like a dollar for a bunch of them for like I don't know twenty of them or something. But I bought two, but it's just like, what? It's, was it worth it? Probably not. It clogs just as much. I have to take the screen out and then put it back in. And then as I smoke the bowl, the as I smoke the bowl heats up, the freaking pipe cleaner dis disintegrates. It burns away, and then eventually it it gets. I've had a I've had scre uh, screen pipe screens in here before in old bowls to the point where it gets so clogged full of resin that it becomes charred black to the point where it's literally just a shriveled up little thing that I can't use anything with. By the time when I try to spread it apart, all this flake just comes off of it, like. I get it. Why can't it just do that, though? My old pipe that I used to have, which was the same exact thing, but blue, worked perfectly fine with screens. This one, for some reason, I can't get those. Maybe I just didn't buy a good one, but... I just wish I can mute this asshole. But none of my spells for that are working. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand if it's broken or not. But none of these games, none of these old games seem to have good magic spells for certain things. They just seem broken as hell. If I can mute him, I can win. I can win without it, but that's the point of an RPG. It's called strategy, my guy. Jesus. <laughs> Learn how to make a damn game, not that I know how to game design myself. And I know I get it, you were in your prime that in the day. Hell, freaking Game Freak still can't even make good games without- or can't even make Pokemon games without glitches and bullshit. <clears throat> Apparently, nor can Square. All their fucking games are just fucking full of crap. Can you go to bed or some shit, like, seriously? Like, come on, what's the point of these spells if they're not gonna work? I don't even really use these kind of spells on bosses much. But I want to for bosses that are fucking retarded. Especially once he does this amount of damage to me. I guess I just gotta keep my healer healing me. Other than that, this boss fight's not even that hard. I need blind now. Blind doesn't affect spells, I don't think. Can I try? I'll try blind.
course I didn't. Do more damage, please! Oh my god, stop doing so much damage! Had him on the rope, too, and of course he had to spam that same spell, and somehow he's doing... And I'm going, my damage is getting less and less. I'm beating this guy here. I hate it. My main guy was doing good damage, and then he started doing lower damage. My best guy was doing good damage, and then he started doing shittier damage, and then he started to actually kill me. I cannot... I get it. RMG and speed is going to affect things. But lord almighty. This is getting to the point where I'm speeding this up. And almost, almost going to save state. Just so I can skip this segment. Just like how I did when I fought the final boss of Fantasy Star 2. It's... I don't like save-stating games. I really, really don't. But these old games, I can't. I have to. There's... I'm not gonna sit there and constantly... Especially with Fantasy Star, I was not gonna go through that fucking dungeon every time. Would you have wanted to watch that, honestly, Infamy? I guarantee you, I know you understood why I was doing that. You would not want to watch me go through that dungeon every time. You know how many times he was beating me? I was very under- I wasn't exactly over- I was not exactly underleveled, but I was not on par with Dark Force. He was far stronger than I should have- he was stronger than me at the point. I should have been much higher level at that point. But, still, like- I'm not gonna sit there and go grind. I know I could beat that game, and I did, but, like, I wasn't gonna sit there and go back and forth, back. And, you know, you saw the trouble with how I was, my memory. You saw the trouble with even looking at a guide. It's just, if I'm busy chatting, if I freaking look away for a bit, go away for a bit, I forget where I am. It doesn't take much for me to, especially when I'm sitting like this, and then I take time away to, you know, talk. I'm gonna forget what I'm doing. I'm not gonna no no not doing that to you guys. I'm not doing that to me. That's not fair. I don't care. It may turn it may turn people away. All that streaming is is for our enjoyment. If I if it's if it's not fun, what's the point? But this this is just annoying me. This fight in particular, as well as the hind fight has been the stressfulest, most more stressful than so far than Fantasy Star 2, or Fantasy Star, Final Fantasy 2. These two fights have been more stressful than a good chunk of Fantasy Star, or Final Fantasy 2. The only reason why that game was more stressful is because of its freaking leveling mechanics. That whole game was just stressful, but two of these specific boss fights only because of the ramped difficulty out of freaking nowhere. This guy should not be doing this much fucking damage. I don't care if my <laughs> elemental defenses are bad. They should not force you to sit there and change class. Do I have to put him in the back? 
I don't want to. I don't want to risk that doing less damage. Stick with that damage. I know elementals are not good on him, but I want. I have like their physical is even worse. You're telling me their physical would be far better than that? What is that damage? And then random spikes of damage output for him and me. Just stick doing 100 damage. Oh, look at that miss. Look at that. why I do magic, because at least I'm hitting him. There, do that! Just stick with that amount of damage. Same for you, Zero. There, that's not bad. Shh, ow! Lord! Thank you! Good. Give me above a good threshold so I can survive. I don't think Chad's gonna make it out of that out of this attack. Oh he did. Ho 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 and he did. You're more important. Unfortunately, she is more important than you right now, chat. Dead. Dead. Oh, I'm alive. Okay. If this doesn't just keep doing 400 damage, I can outheal him and hit him again. And I only had two elixirs. God, the 400 damage! I can't outheal that! Thank you. Somewhat less, but I'm still not gonna be able to outheal 300 damage either. I'm just gonna—it's just gonna be an endless loop until a he somehow gets an RNG. Thank you. Somewhat. Please do like 300. Thank you. Eventually, he's gonna get speed and he's gonna attack first and murder me. 300, please. Damn it! Stop. I need to be able to have at least 800 health. At least in order to get a few hits in, or a hit in. Thank you. No, too much. I'm starting to somewhat out heal him now. You. I'm hitting the thousand. Nope. Nope. I, again, I do need at least 800 health, but I'm trying to get into a better comfortable range. All I'm going to be able to get is one hit out of it. And that's 
that's not good. There he goes. There he goes. I knew it. He was going to eventually get a second hit. Of course. Now I'm back down to where we started. <sighs> How are you outspeeding me now? I mean, yeah, you're it's RNG, but I was I was healing on point. Come on, man. Thank you, Zero. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Go first, please. Please do not go first. Please do not go first. Look at that. Only one hit out of that. Damn, Matt! Oh my god, that 280. What is this fight? He's gonna drain me of my high potion. I had close to max of those. How much MP do you have if you run out at all? Some from some enemies in games don't run out ever, and it's so dumb. That's why I wish you could be muted! Dead. Nope, okay. He has not done more than 440 or 450 damage or 480 or however much he's done, but I have not seen 500 damage yet out of him. Which is nice, because he can't easily kill me. Oh, there we go. As I say that, he gets 490. Good, good, good. I prefer your 300 damage, please. It's hitting me. It's hitting everyone, or at least it would be if they were alive, so it shouldn't be as much, right? No, I just... Come on! One more heal would have put me into a good enough range to actually maybe get one or two hits on you, depending on your output. 270? What is that? Fuck you, I'm not risking it. Please do not go first, Garuda. This repeats until he's dead. This repeats until he's dead. Repeats uh, or until I run out of high potions. Or if he decides to hit me a sec Okay, good. Until unless he hits me for a second time there. He's just doing 400. It's gonna be an endless cycle. Until he starts doing 300 damage to me. Or kills me right here. No, okay. Yeah, I don't like the range of the high potions. 500, then out of nowhere that 200. Like, the range is so annoying. Please be fucking consistent. Good, 420 hype. Please be consistent in heals. Like, it's fucking high potions. It's always been, what, 500 health? At least in some of the later ones. Yes! That's the damage I'm looking for! 666, six, six, baby. Health do you have, you asshole? Nope. Better. But not not enough. I need more health than that. Better. Crit! Fucking what? That was the shittiest crit I've seen! I've done more damage out of that. Oh, come on, that could have been like over seven or 800 damage I hit. I did 666. Six, six. That crit should have done like around 700 damage. Fucking die, would you stop with that high amount of damage? Stop it right now. Do 200 or something. Better. Not 
too much, still too much damage, not high enough health. Damn it! Stop! Do much less than that, not fi near 500, please. Like 300, 200, that's a decent damage. Making it so I can't attack. I mean, I can, but I don't want to risk it. Okay. Fuck you, you asshole! I don't even know where my camera was for a second. I was like, Whoa. that's because that's because it's freaking reverse. It's, it's mirrored. So I was like, uh. Because I forgot, I think I swapped my camera, so I thought I was going to the other side. I think I, I think I rotated my camera to actually face the way I, I'm actually seeing, my, or the, the way I'm actually facing. Because, yeah, I'm facing my camera from a different direction, so technically it is mirrored. But sometimes, whenever I try to do something on camera, like, you could see it too. It's the mirrored image. It's hard for me. So I tried to reverse it to make it easier on me. But it still is reversed regardless. So, like, when I was trying to flick it off, I was, like, going this way to go the other way. <laughs> Oh. My son. Gigames had me under his control for so long. Who the fuck? I thought his name was... His name was Garuda. Who's Gigames? Was like, that his alias? Like, what the fuck? So long. I thought you'd never forgive me, but you've come back. Thanks to you. My soul is free again. Please, Alice. Alice, whatever your fucking name is. I know it's not Alice, but it's just the way I read it. Alice, take my place and bring peace back to Salonia. Uh. Father! I love you, Alice. I'm just gonna die standing. He just committed Sudoku. He died of that wound. My god. That's actually a very sad death, because he actually broke free of his control and stabbed himself to keep his son alive. If, an, if that's not a father, I don't know what is. I'm sorry, I'm very sentimental, and I'm actually starting to almost... My emotions are starting to peak, but I don't... That is actually very sad. <laughs> Games do actually make emotions, like, make me tear up if it's sad enough. And oh lord, I think that's the saddest thing in a Final Fantasy death right now is the fact that his father actually broke free of his control, stabbed his own self, committed suicide in a way, to save his own son. That's a man. That's a true father. I was only for a moment, but I distrusted my father. That's not, that's not right. You're f you loved your father, and he loved him. I will take Father's place as King of Salonia. That was his final wish. And yeah, this is actual, real emotion coming from me. Truly thank you because of you were able to defeat the games. Take care. Yes, thank you, Light Warriors. Oh, I thought they were gonna do the. <sighs> oh man, what an emotional fucking fight! I don't know what I like better, the Dragoon or the freaking other guy. I'm gonna stick with the other guy just because I have gear for him. If I can find gear for the Dragoon, I'll switch back. I'll keep those, but... I'm really liking the, uh... This guy.
I could have won that fight without that, but... It would have been a lot more healing. Shining Freezing Golem. Fifty two. Fifty two. Okay, you're all the same, so I'm just gonna put on, uh, I'll put on Shining. Well, you can wear the Scholar Helmet. Okay, good. That finally I got some decent armor from me, out of nowhere. I was tired of getting the same items half the half those chests, but I got some decent gear finally. Again. Viking, dragon, Viking. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I think I just got some dragoon gear, so I think I could switch back again. God damn it! I'm really liking this damn character. Not that the dragoon's bad. Just, nope, not at all. Yeah, I got dragon. Stop giving me other staffs that he can't use. It's mean. Hold on. 
Uh, they really want me to... They're giving me Dragoon gear, and they really want me to switch with him. Switch to him, I guess. A good alternative to the knight. Would that be better than my guy? Would I become better? My attack is 122. Then remove the eyes. Oh, there's no room. better on that fight than I uh, was. That's that was that's that fight. Yeah, they wanted to have gimmicks and it makes sense. Can I go elsewhere? Is there are no other spots to go. Nope, I think I got every every chest that I can think of. Light Warriors, who saved Salonia, thank you. Light Warriors, I must not grieve forever. As my father wished, I will restore peace to Salonia. No, not only Salonia, but the entire world. Maybe there's something here in Salonia that could be of use to you. Please use anything you like. I just found pretty much everything, I think. Noah's loot, the tone that reaches even the dream world, now rests in the Temple of Time. Are you telling me that I need three crystals in order to become an adult Link and then Ganon gets freed? Yes, I did that. <laughs> Time to go free Ganon and become adult uh, Dragoon. Adult Dragoon. The temple that sunk into the sea. It rests south of Salonia, below the two horns. Do I have to listen to your song every time to re just get the dialogue into my head? The temple that sunk into the sea. It rests south of Salonia. Alright, well, 
Okay. I figured it was the Temple of Time then, because they literally just stated not only the Temple of Time, but also to the south. So, and below the two horns. Ooh, it was actually, I've actually saw down there. So I think the two horns is just the way that the ma uh, the uh, land goes. Good. Thanks for that tip, guys. Because I've actually been down there. I've actually saw the land. I just never, I just didn't know what it was. So I know what they're referencing. It is said that the Archmage Noah divided his power among three people, Zonda, Dorga, and Un. The only ones who could cause such a catastrophe are the three wizards of the continent of Dalug. With the Nautilus engine, you should be able to fly through the winds that blow out at the peninsula. Light warriors, head for the continent of, D of Dalug. Okay. Oh, didn't I... Wasn't I at Dulug? Or is that somewhere new now? <laughs> I like how that guy's, like, trapped in that pillar. He's not. He's actually behind it. There's a hidden room in Salonia. Check the wall in the wizard's room for two... S Wait. There's a hidden room in Salonia. Check the wall in the wizard's room two steps from the right. Gonna... That's what I was planning. I was just gonna sit there and try everything. Two steps to the right is ve- Whoops. Two steps to the right is quite vague, so I was just like, fuck. This is why I talk to NPCs. You cannot past here. All you cannot go. Oh, you cannot go past here. Although I hear that in the past, in, ugh, I hear that in the past, the path lead to the catacombs. The path lead to the cat. Okay. You cannot go past here. Although I hear that in the past, the path led to the catacombs. Huh. So this castle also leads to the... the underwater... part of this castle? Because they mentioned that there's a segment underwater. Okay, got some free Phoenix Downs, I'm not gonna deny that. Scholars. We're Salonia's engineers. Please use the airship Nautilus that we discovered in the ancient ruins. Here, we'll bring it. Huh? Where is everybody? Uh-oh. We left the Nautilus outside the castle. Now you can stand up to the winds of Delug. Get the airship. Get the airship Nautilus. How's the Nautilus doing? Isn't it great? I haven't tried it, guys. I haven't left. See, now I'm a hidden NPC behind this wall. That just looks so weird. I get it, There's that em it's that empty space behind it, but it's just kind of weird. And now I'm flying a blimp. And it can land on land. And it can land on land! Oh, yes! No. 
You can't land in water, though. Okay, that's an upgrade. It can land on land. It would be even better if it can land in water. But I don't really care, considering I just land right there and then just go in water. But that means I can't sail anymore, but I can fly everywhere now. That just means I can't sail in water. That kind of limits you a bit. Kind of. If it's like open water and you want to sail in it. But as long as it's this kind of water, I can uh, canoe in it. But I still can't go over mountains. Weird. But I can land and land now. Yay! Yay! Everyone start saying the same things, please, and not give me shit. Okay, so who has the scholar shit? Scholar helmet? Scholar shirt. You have both Scholar gear. And you both have Scholar of the first shit. Okay, I don't know if... Wait, wait, I didn't even check the ring. You have a rune ring. And you have a rune ring, okay. Come on! Not that I need you over there. 
didn't know if there was that way. There was once a passage from the castle cellar to the seafloor, but now it's blocked up. Maybe one can enter from the bottom of the sea. I gotta find a way to get down to the sea, though. See, there you go. That's the uh, dungeon that one dude just mentioned before who was in the castle and stated that I can't go past, but that's what it is. That's that. I have fire two, ice two, bolt two, cure two, and exit we're all at right. Fire two, bolt two, ice two. Is exit and wash. Is it fire two, ice two, bolt two? Do I have bolt two, ice two? I'm oh, in my memory. Yes, I have fire, ice, and bolt. Oh, you sell. And cure too, of course, but she has that. She needs output damage. Give me arrow too. I mean, up. Give her some more offense. Go check the library. It should have information. Wait, should have information? Oh, oh information I need? Ooh. Hey, come on, man. Information on what? Let's start from here. Or not. Ancient Book 1. The four statues. They annihilate any who try to pass. Yes. It's happened twice to me. They will protect the crystal. The key to them is the four fangs. Only we can pass through freely. They're key items. It makes sense as to why I can't use them or delete them. I didn't know if they were key items. I thought they were actual just like, here, here's an item, use this in battle, because it does this to, uh, this elemental of damage. My attempt to float the continent in the sky was successful. I think I will name the tower where the reactor is the Tower of Owen after myself. You mean the, you mean the actual Owen tower that I was in with the frogs? Or do you mean a big spiral tower, that the one that pierces the heavens? I cannot believe the light is going to flood. I'm going to cry cryogenically freeze my son, Dash. Well, that's some lore. Dash was the dude I met at Bahamut's nest, and then he ended up burning himself alive to save me. What is with this people and deaths, man? Everyone in this, everyone I meet in this game. So far, every NPC besides the king's son has died on me. Dash burned himself alive to save me. Another girl got shot through the neck or face with a freaking poison dart. Uh, uh, probably, uh, probably another NPC has died, but so far, I've had every NPC who's traveled with me has died. One way or another. So, Aeolus, uh, don't, don't stay with me. You'll die. You almost did. He almost got stabbed. And that's for being in my vicinity, you... Oh, God damn it. I'm going to cryogenically freeze my son Dash. If anything happens to the tower, he will awaken and fix the problem. And that's what happened. 
awaken though? He was already awake, so I don't remember- I don't know when he was frozen and when he woke, but he was already- I met him at Bahamut's nest. I don't know when he woke. He must have awoke when the earthquake happened and all the shit went to hell. Because that's what happened. He then, uh, fixed the problem by killing himself. Ancient Book. Four warriors come from the dark world and stop the flood of light. The world has been saved? Oh, the light world, or the dark world has been saved, I'd imagine. So, okay, it's funny that I'm assuming that the roles are reversed. Where are the bad guys who are coming trying to end the darkness by flooding that with light? So in the end, we're both warriors of light in some regard, are we not? Except they're dark, but they're still in their mind, in their world, they're good, and we're bad. So does that make us the pro-tag and antag at the same time? Some deep lore. We've overused the light. The power has grown out of control. And not even we can stop it. The floating continent has been completed. It will be placed due west of Delug's cross-shaped promontory. What? Promontory? <laughs> I read that right. Oops. Book of Dark Swords. That's my favorite FromSoft game. If you would master the Dark Sword, then head for Fargalbad, hidden in the mountains west of Salonia. Wait, wait. If you would master, if I would master the Dark Sword, head for Fargalbad. What is? That sounds like some random word you would blurt while drunk. Ah, The principle of time gear, the perpetual engine. That's what Sid gave me. Or actually, that's what Argas gave me to give to Sid. Best airship of the year. Submarine Nautilus. Great ship Invincible. Airship Enterprise. Wow. Wow, man, they just reference Every later game just references Final Fantasy 1 through 3. 9 is heavily referencing 3 games. One of the last bosses of the game, his name is... Um, Garland. There's Sid and Hilda. Garland was from the final one of the final one of the first bosses of the first game. Sid and Hilda. Sid is a recurring character, but Hilda is a female from the second game. The Invincible is me mentioned in this. I'm not sure if there was a ship I flew on was called the Invincible. Maybe maybe one of Sid's ships in the second or first game was called the Invincible, but that's also a title of a ship in 9. And the Enterprise, I don't know if that's mentioned in a later game, but so far 9 is referencing 3 games. I understand it's a it's a callback. But it's interesting that it's literally referencing multiple different games all at once. And then one of the last bosses of the game, his name is literally Garland. Stop it, old hag! Can you imagine if you're trying to walk in real life and some, and some random person is just constantly walking the same route as you to the point where he's blocking you? And you're just like trying to go up or down and he just won't let you. If only, if only in real life you can only walk in, well, I'm not explaining it well. I think you understand what I'm trying to say. And then when you walk into them, you literally shove them. Or whenever you try to talk to people, they keep walking away until you literally say say what you gotta say to them. The tower in the sector is called the Dragon Tower. The treasures of the family of dragoons is, he is there. You're gonna climb the Dragon Tower? It's swarming with monsters. Oh wait, that door was locked before. Oh, shit. I forgot. Oh, 
Holy lord, seven heads. Goodbye. There they are, what the hell? Oh, she's not coming back yet. So. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I've been in here or not. I don't remember if this was open or not. Well, tomorrow we're gonna focus on more of this. Focus more on this beautiful game tomorrow. I'm getting off for the night. That is a total of what, seven hour stream. No, wait. I streamed the other stream was what, five hours? So it's. Yeah, it's about eight hours. I've been streaming for about almost nine hours. Whew. It would have been longer if I would have gotten right when I got home and streamed, but I had to. I had to restart my computer and and get it all set up for you. But yeah, thank you Infamy for joining. Thank you Irving Reaper and thank you Sapphire and yeah, no problem man. Thank you for joining and enjoying. Uh, thank you for everyone else who's currently who's just lurking. Yes, thank you everybody. I'm sorry about earlier with my issues. I'm glad I can get them off my chest to people who I don't even know. I don't even know I feel like I'm glad that you guys can lend an ear to me and not like, oh my god, you're depressing and run away. Because I've had actually one dude who literally said, you're depressing, I'm leaving. And I don't think I've seen him since. But I can understand that it's pushing people away. But honestly, it makes me happier to know that I actually have an ear more than just my personal friends and family to talk to. Because it's going to come out. It's gonna come out. It comes out of my everyday life. It's me, so it's not like it's not gonna happen. I wish it wouldn't, but there's just gonna be stressful days where I'm just gonna just sit there and just be depressed. I know I have a very good life. I live with my parents still, and I have a very sheltered life, but just because of that doesn't mean I can't be unhappy. Enough people in my life have hurt me, but I am glad that you guys are there for me. I'm do, I'm happy I have the people that do love and respect me and care about me, it just, I just wish, I just wish there was things that people would do better and nicer, and just, I just wish I wasn't the way I was sometimes, but unfortunately I am who I am, and you are you, I can't change you, you can't change me, unfortunately, but all that matters is that you lend an ear, you lend an eye, um, but thank you, thank you everyone. I love all of you, each and every one of you. I hope my quality has gotten better. I'm really trying to make sure that you don't have to hear this annoying static, and I hope my voice quality is better, because I know before when I, when I would stream with my thing on my desk, my voice quality wasn't, like, clear. It sounded like I was a bit further away, which, yeah, I'd be, like, over here. But now that I'm, a, like, my mic arm, and it's a bit more in my face and away from my desk, there's a little bit less annoyance. And my voice is a bit more picked up, which is nice. So I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Have a good one, everybody. I will see you sometime in the morning, maybe? We'll see what time I wake up. But definitely going to be plenty of streams for tomorrow and Sunday. So stay tuned for plenty of Final Fantasy. Hope And I might actually be doing some Eternal Darkness tomorrow, because that's something I need to really need to return to for uh, Glistener Elf. So if you're listening, Glistener, stay tuned for that tomorrow, because I do want to get on that, because... Zero requested me to play Half-Life. That's a game I've never played, so I want to really get working on some of these requests so I can re so I can get more requests. Maybe Infamy, maybe you have some built-up Masetta and you want to see me play a game. Maybe, and I want to get more, but I don't want to have like 50 game requests on the back burner, so I really want to just start going through it. Zero requested me to play Half-Life. Whether it was all of the series or not, I'm going to go through at least one of them and see how I feel about it and then decide. He requested me to play one in... He didn't say how long. See, the thing about the requests, Infamy, I don't know if you remember or if you heard. If you request me to play the ga a game, you have... You have... You, you give me the choice of what to play and how long. You can literally have me play a game and beat it. And I will. And it's... 
like it's not it's your it's that choice like otherwise if you just say can you play this game outside of using your currency because not just asking me say like hey can you play pokemon I'd be like, okay, I will, but I it, it's up to me how long I play for. Now, if you click on, like, my screen, you'll see that red box pop up. If you click that and go to game requests and ask me via that, if you, yeah, if you ask me via that, uh, versus, uh, via my actual currency, you have, you, it's your choice for how long I play it for. So if you have a game you want me to play, say, you want me to play Pokemon, and you want me to beat through Pokemon Red or Pokemon Blue or all the series, that's my obligation to do so. Otherwise, I'd be like, yeah, I'll play Pokemon for you, but I'm not going to be beating it. Something like that. But if you actually physically spend actual Masetta in-game, in-chat currency, I'm sure you've seen that red box when you have your cursor on screen. You can click that and request me to play a game, and it's up to you, up to you, to how long I play it for. And Eternal Darkness is a game I'm going to be playing it all the way through. So, Half-Life and Eternal Darkness. But yeah, if you... I don't, I want to be able to get more requests, so if you have a game request in mind, feel free to request it, just keep in mind that's not going to be happening for a bit, but that's why I want to get through some of these games, and I don't want people to be, like, requesting games, and then they just wait forever, but I've had three game requests total already, and I've played through, actually four, I've played through two of them already, so see you tomorrow, though, for some Final Fantasy and possible Eternal Darkness. Have a good one.